Meet Kevin, you just did something incredibly stupid. So if you don't know, Meet Kevin is launching three different ETFs. This is insane, and if you get involved in this, I guarantee you, you're gonna lose a lot of money. So this right here, he's launching three different ETFs. It was found by this guy on Twitter, Eric Balkunis. This is his Twitter page right here. He follows different ETFs. Found that Meet Kevin is launching three ETFs. I went, went a step further, looked into it some more. So you can go over to sec.gov and look at the mutual fund. You can search different mutual funds. And all you have to do is type in Meet Kevin. That's all you gotta do. And the ETFs will come up right here. So these are the three ETFs. Meet Kevin All-In ETF, Meet Kevin Moderate ETF, and Meet Kevin Select ETF. Now these ETFs aren't currently on the market. You can't actually buy these on a stock exchange and they don't currently have a ticker name, uh, but they have been approved. So what that means is they can now go to the next step. They can get a ticker name uh, and then they can actually go live and people can get involved in these ETFs. So these are gonna blow up in his face, I guarantee you. So if you don't know what an ETF is, basically this is what it is. It's basically like an index fund. An ETF buys into a bunch of different stocks and then you can buy into the ETF. So basically, uh, let's say you know his ETF has you know Tesla, Lemonade, uh, Nikola, different stocks, right? It buys into it. And then you can buy the ETF and basically you can, are buying into all these different stocks without actually having to buy into the individual stocks, right? You just buy into the ETF, uh, you have a play in all of those. And as those go up and down, the ETF's price will go up and down as well. It sounds like a good idea. The problem is there's already hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands of different ETFs out there. Uh, there is no need for this ETF at all. He's basically trying to bank on the fact that he is an internet celebrity. Now, if you don't know, I was the one to find this video of him back in 2019 where he admits he knows nothing about the stock market. But the point is, to me, real estate's freaking easy because I look at this stuff and I go, I know what to do. Stocks, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so don't ever expect Meet Kevin to sell you a stock investing course. Okay, so there you go. That's from his own mouth back in late 2019, him admitting that he doesn't know anything about the stock market and obviously he would never sell a stock market course. I made a video about that several months ago. It's up, you can take a look at it. And now you can see he actually has a stock market course. If you scroll down in the middle, uh, it's currently selling for $623. So we know this guy is a confirmed liar. He said he would never sell a stock course less than two years. Actually, I think it was about a year later, he started actually selling a stock course now he's trying to make his own ETFs. Now this guy is the guy who completely pulled out of the market at the start of 2022. Why would you wanna get involved in this guy who's a little scaredy cat, who's gonna pull all of his money out of the stock market? He's probably gonna do the same thing with his ETF. And the thing is, if he actually launches this ETF, buys into a bunch of these stocks, and then another stock market collapse happens and he decides, you know what, I'm selling everything, the ETF that I own, completely selling everything we own. If they do that, I guarantee you people who are involved in the ETF are going to be pissed because the ETF is going to go to zero and they're going to sue him. This is this is def definitely setting up for a potential lawsuit if he does something weird with this ETF that he knows he shouldn't be doing. Now, on top of this, Meet Kevin also has a history of going, you know, above and beyond what he's actually capable of doing. So if you don't know, I did this video right here, Meet Kevin 25 million private jet disaster. Did that two months ago. Last year in 2021, Meet Kevin made about $20 million in ad revenue pumping all these different stocks. Everyone watched those videos. And he tried to buy a $25 million jet, put a down, down payment on it, lost the down payment, realized he wasn't going to be able to afford the jet because in 2022, he's making significantly less money in ad revenue. I think it's less than half, potentially less than $10 million. So this guy, you know, frequently does this where he, you know, shoots for the moon and then falls flat on his face. That's exactly what is going to happen with this ETF. There's no reason for its existence. Uh, right now, we don't know what stocks he's going to be buying into, but if people get involved in this, they're undoubtedly going to lose their money. Meet Kevin does not have billions of dollars. Think about this. There is Kathy Wood. Kathy Wood has one of the largest ETFs, uh, the ETF that everyone is talking about, Kathy Wood, right? And her ETF has done absolutely horrible for the past year or so. It's an absolutely horrible. And she has billions and billions of dollars backing up that ETF. Meet Kevin doesn't have billions of dollars. 
even if he convinces a bunch of his people to join his ETF, a bunch of his followers, it's not going to be anywhere near billions of dollars backing his ETF. There is no way this is going to be successful. Now, in my opinion, I think it's initially if it does go live, which it may never happen, but if it does go live, initially I think it'll pump because he'll get people get people in his YouTube channel be like, I love Kevin, and they'll get involved in the ETF, so there'll be an initial pump, and then ultimately I think this will fail. I think long term there is no chance any one of these Meet Kevin ETFs, and the fact that he has three different ETFs is just mind-boggling to me. The all-in ETF, the select ETF, and the moderate ETF. So you can pick which level of Kevin you want to get involved in. Are you all in, or you just want a little bit of Kevin? You just want a little Kevin inside, or do you want to go all into Kevin? It's completely up to you. Okay, so digging even more into this, I actually found their legal documents. I'll have a link to this. You can find this through the SEC website. Uh, but this shows the management of the company. Uh, you can see Torso Investments LLC. They're the one that's actually filing this for Kevin. You can see Kevin Paffarath. Uh, he's the sub-advisor for this. Uh, so this is the company right here that is managing uh, this ETF launch for Kevin. Now, this entire thing is designed basically just to make Kevin even richer. And what's really interesting, I think this is a big reason why Kevin worked so hard to try and prevent people from knowing that he got the DUI. He worked so hard to get that DUI video scrubbed from the internet that's on my channel because who wants to invest in a guy who has a DUI, right? Who got a DUI just this year in Florida. Who would want to invest into that guy's ETF? I think that's a big reason why he was so adamant to get this trial over quickly, uh, get this scrubbed from the internet. But once it came out, he realized that wasn't going to happen. So he's now pushed back the date of the trial. The trial is now going to happen probably after this ETF launches, in my opinion. So this is the ETF right here. Uh, you can look at all this information. It doesn't give too much detail that, you know, it's, they're just, this is the information just filing to get the process started. It doesn't go into detail as to what stocks they're going to get involved in. Uh, but like I said, this is this is undoubtedly going to blow up in his face. He's done this in the past, tried to buy a $25 million jet last year. Now he can't afford that at all. What, what, what's the point of this? Why would anyone want to get involved in a Meet Kevin ETF? There are already ETFs that exist out there, and I'm sure one of his biggest holdings is probably going to be Tesla. If you don't know, he pretty much sold out of all of his stocks, and right now only he only holds Tesla, and he holds millions of dollars in Tesla. So I'm sure Tesla is going to be probably the largest percentage of this ETF. Uh, why do you need to do that? There's plenty of other ETFs that already have Tesla as the largest holding in the ETF. So if you really like Tesla, you want to get involved in an ETF, get involved in some other ETF that's actually run by, you know, a company that has billions of dollars supporting it, as opposed to Kevin, who's, who's probably going to pump in, what, maybe $5 million into this ETF? It's just absolutely insane that he is launching this ETF, these three different ETFs. Uh, but there you go. That's the information we have so far. Once the ticker names come out, once more information as to what these ETFs are going to be about, uh, I will talk about that. But right now, thanks to Eric Balchunas on Twitter. He's the guy that broke the story. Uh, these are the tickers, three ETFs, it doesn't have a ticker name, but these are the ETFs that Kevin is launching. And I'd love to hear your comments below. What do you think about Meet Kevin's ETFs? Will these be successful or will he fall a fat, flat on his face with these ETFs?